to a disturbing new study on autism in this country. The Centers for Disease Control is releasing the study later this morning, and it's expected to show that autism is far more common than previously believed. Our senior health and medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, joins us now with this. So what's the headline here, Rich? You know, Robin, I fully expect this is going to show similar results to what we reported a few weeks ago. One in 100 children have some form of autism. That's a 50% increase over previous estimates. And the news for boys is not as good. Mm -hmm. Four times as many boys are diagnosed with this than our girls. Remind us why that's the case with boys. It's, it's not clear. Yeah. You know, when you talk to scientists who study this, this area, there are factors related to genetics and there are factors related to the environment. Um, but no one really understands what's driving this increase in, in, in autism. The good news is that the National Institutes of Health are pumping in more than $60 million in new dollars to try and look at the causes and mm -hmm. treatment for, for autism. So if you're a parent and you're hearing this, this new information, this new study, what do you do? Well, I, I think there are a number of things you need to do. Mm -hmm. If your child has autism or a form of autism, you need to get treatment early. And Every state has available services for your children. If, if your child uh, is, is very young, uh, you can go to your school system. A lot of parents think that you have to wait until they're school age to go to your mm -hmm. school. If you go to your school and say, my child is diagnosed with autism, and you, you show them the results, there are early children's services that are, that are available. It varies by state what the quality right. is. But we've been reporting here on a number of studies recently that show early treatment is very helpful at improving the symptoms of autism. When you talk about this increase in the number here, you, you think of our health care system because these are a lot of children that are going to need help. Uh, is, are we equipped to help? Well, I don't think we are. There are only 10 states that require that all insurers provide services for children with, with autism. There are two dozen more states that are looking at implementing laws in, in, in that regard. But it's very intensive. Each of these children requires services that may cost upward of $50,000 a year. And it's important they get those services because you can see some children who are diagnosed with autism when they're very young but give them intensive therapy and they can reach the point where they no longer even meet the diagnosis of autism. They're able to be in a mainstream right. classroom. And give us the signs again because it's not like you can take a blood test and, That's and right. determine this. There is no blood test. Yeah. It's, it's a, a matter of, of looking for, for specific signs. As a pediatrician, mm -hmm. there are things I look for at every visit. In young children, looking to see is there a connection between a, a, a parent and that child is very important. At a year, does the child have any words? You should have a couple words at a year. And at two years, is that child putting together a couple words and expressing interests? So it's social interaction, it's communication in their language, and then it's some movement issues. Uh, you know, are, are, do they have repetitive movements? Are they fascinated mm -hmm. with their hands? Mm -hmm. Are they doing spinning? Those kinds of things can be clues. You, I've always talked about those milestones, looking for those. They're so important. Yeah. Rich, thank you. Have a good weekend. You we too. appreciate it. And you can learn more about autism at our resource center at abcnews.com slash GMA.